the only thing out here at 5.45 in the morning aside from me is that turkey and a few dog walkers. So I go to bed really early because I get really tired but then I wake up really early and um, so I guess I'm getting a good amount of sleep which is important. Um, so I had my breast cancer surgery last Friday and um, after a massive day of waiting I didn't have high hopes for um, you know a good comfortable night's sleep because when I had the brain surgery I ended up in a ward where they would bring in random so um, I had a kid when I say kid like maybe 20 year old who was um, screaming because he'd been um, in a car crash and he was screaming out the C word and um, I also had another guy who was an alcoholic uh, that's my assumption a skinny dude who turned up really old guy who turned up with blood all over him and on his pillow his pillow was just blood and um, I thought, oh wow, they've just picked him up off the street and dumped him opposite me, but you know, I'm in the public system, so I don't... Anyway, it was, it was fascinating, so I guess I got an interesting story out of it. But his wife turned up, um, and they were asking her questions, and she looked really well put together, you know. She still worked, and she wore nail polish, and um, she was just a regular lady you would middle-aged lady you would see and um, they were asking her questions about him and she was giving these answers and I just thought you're lying there's no way that he fell down the stairs at your house um, and then it changed a bit because she said oh he disappeared for a while was I mean I'm sure the hospital staff have all heard this before so that was interesting in my last room and um, I also had an elderly lady from my suburb come in who I didn't know, never met before, but she'd broken an arm. She was in her 90s and she refused an operation and she was lovely. And I think she, was, she had a, a real bit of energy to her. She was like flirting with the guy who um, brought her stretcher in. And yeah, she, she was so nice. She's so with it too. It was amazing. Um, but yeah, so anyway, back to what I was saying. Um, I ended up after my big long day of um, waiting for an operation, um, I ended up in the best freaking room, like almost to the point where I thought, you know, I could stay another night, but I only got to stay overnight, which was a shame, but uh, not really. But yeah, like I had my, it, the door shut. I had my own TV that worked rather than just a black screen hanging over me. Um, I had, yeah, I just had privacy at my own bathroom. It was really good. And I don't know if that's because there's more funding in breast cancer. I keep thinking this, but I don't actually know. So I should shut the hell up. So anyway, this morning, um, it is a beautiful morning. It's so nice. And it's pre-sunrise. I'm just heading down to have a coffee now. Um, I'm reading this book that I've read before and um, I'm really getting different stuff out of it. I'm finding that now I like to reread books I read ages ago or give it a, a go because some books I'm like, I loved that book, I'll give it a go and it doesn't even register to me. I'm like, well, it looks like I'm a different person now, a different stage of life. Um, but. This book is called The Disaster Artist. And um, if you've heard of, of the worst, quote unquote, worst movie of all time called The Room, I highly recommend you try to hunt it down. Um, you can actually go to cinemas and watch The Room. It's such a cult following. It's the worst movie. Anyway, I could go on for hours, but I'm reading the book written by Greg Sestero, who was, um, the best, I guess, uh, uh, how can I put it? He made the room along with Tommy Wiseau. Tommy Wiseau um, is a mystery wrapped in a riddle. 
and um, Greg Wise, uh, sorry, Greg Sestero was a really young guy at the time. This was the early 2000s and he, um, he wrote down all his memories of the insanity. And it was a movie, turned into a movie um, called The Disaster Artist. Um, and James Franco and his brother were in it. Um, and James Franco played Tommy Wiseau and he did a great job. Um, it was really good. So forget all the stuff about reading the book. Just watch The Disaster Artist. It was made a few years ago. So I am going to have a coffee and continue my movement. I have, um, so I have cuts under my arms from where they took lymph nodes out and I have a cut on my boob from where they took the tumour out. And I'm going in, um, so it's Thursday today and I'm going in on um, Tuesday to get hopefully my results, but also just to speak to the relevant medical people I have to speak to. Um, so uh, when I wake up in the morning, the um, it's a bit, bit, bit tight under my arm, a bit scratchy where the cut is. Um, but as I move around, get up and move around, um, it loosens and it's, it's fine. Um, we are going to go overseas and um, I will be taking a backpack, but um, I will be carrying it by hand and it has that option to do that too. I'm not going to let this stop me from going overseas. I'm tired. Of thinking oh but this might happen but that might happen I've told everyone in my um, cancer teams I've got two teams now so that's really amazing um, that that's what I'm doing and any treatment is to happen after that trip so in December um, and unless something I, I, I think nothing will happen I mean the brain tumor is stable and this apparently they're going for a cure so and I've had it out so what could possibly happen I don't want to um you know curse myself anyway I'm pretty chatty in the morning and um so if you yeah I'm sorry but um I just keep talking I'm not even going to edit it look at me like I actually edit anything <laughs> um all right you know what maybe the next video I do will be on my trip a vlog a travel vlog yep that's that's what's gonna happen see ya